Now, the BBC's technology correspondent, Rory Kethlin jones has been having treatment for a melanoma in his eye. He's received proton beam therapy at Clatterbridge Hospital in the Wirral. It's the only place to offer this treatment in the UK. Well, Rory's been keeping a video diary of his experience of this innovative treatment. So we're in the treatment room for our rehearsal day, really, uh, for my treatment on this eye. This is the eye behind which there is melanoma it's been there or it was first treated 14 years ago but it now needs further treatment because there are signs that it's growing again this is the seat where i am going to be treated and this is the the machine which will fire the the, the proton beam into my eye and behind it on the other side of that wall is the cyclotron which is apparently a great big machine we're going to find out whether we can actually have a look at that Time to come face to face with the cyclotron, which will blast protons into my eye. I'm going to be the other side yeah. of that. That wall's five metres thick. The protons. The protons go along that aluminium pipe there. Just be careful with your head as you sit there. And now we get the Hannibal Lecter star on Mars. Exactly. Yeah. You're not hungry, though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can you see this red light here? Yeah. Keep looking towards that light. The team retire to mission control to monitor the procedure. The actual beaming lasts exactly 31 seconds. I see a strange blue light, but feel nothing. Well done, you're all done there. All right. Yeah, perfect. Well, it's the following morning. Uh, the eye's feeling okay, tiny bit irritable, a bit sort of sticky, but all right. Uh, so it's on to the next round of proton beam. Well, I'm delighted to say that my colleague Rory joins me here now, and you've brought the the mask, the mask. with you. I yeah, mean, it, a bit Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, I know, and presumably all to keep you aligned in the right way. Absolutely. I mean, it's an extraordinary centre here, which deals with... This is a very rare condition. Mm -hmm. Seven people in a million get diagnosed with a melanoma behind the eye, a malignant melanoma, uh, every year. So it's, it's, it's fewer than 500, and uh, I suppose about ha nearly half of them end up going to this centre for this treatment. It's one of several forms of treatment I've had several forms of treatment but it's incredibly it's an incredible center which is actually a collaboration between doctors and nuclear physicists um, I was talking to nuclear physicists who, who make sure that the machine is all running exactly to plan and, and uh, that you're in exactly the right position for for the therapy yeah and I mean an extraordinarily large piece of kit but you said it, it, you don't feel anything as it's happening no, it's, it's called a cyclotron. It's, they compare, I, I said, it's a bit like the Large Hadron Collider, isn't it? And they said, yeah, actually, it's a kind of a small Hadron Collider, except wow. it's colliding particles with your eye. So it's, uh, I mean, it would be much smaller if they, they built it quite a while ago, 30 years ago. Mm. They could build it smaller these days, but it's very expensive to build in the first place and to, to, to maintain it. Mm. Uh, and in terms of the, how the treatment works, you, you went, this was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, you went in week every day. Yeah for 31 seconds, as yeah. you said, and, and then it needs to settle before they can see what's well, been achieved. Well, I've been under constant treatment from Moorfields Hospital in London for the last 14 years mm. when this was first diagnosed. I go back every, every few months and I will go back at the end of August to Moorfields and they will have a look at behind my eye and see how much damage has been done to the tumour mm. and they're ho hopefully a lot. Yeah, and absolutely. And how does this treatment differ to the kind of things you've been through before? Well, I originally had something called a radioactive plaque, an actual uh, little device inserted behind my eye Gosh. some while ago. I spent a week in hospital then. Uh, I've since had a bit of laser treatment. But I think gradually this proton beam, which is a, you know, a very sophisticated approach, uh, is being seen as, uh, as one really valuable way of treating this and other cancers. This, this, this unit just does uh, the, the eye cancer. There are other units being built around the UK which deal with other forms of cancer. So they are hopeful that this has wider treatment implications? Well, yeah. I mean, proton beam is, uh, you know, one sort of radical method of treating various cancers. Um, as I said, it, it is expensive, um, it's sophisticated, 
but uh, and it, it works well with some tumors not so well with others so uh, you know it's 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 one exciting way of treating cancer yeah and I, I think when you went along there were other people um, who were being treated presumably everyone wants to see there's a sense of his camaraderie the right, right word there I really was it was extraordinary we were all put up in a hotel uh, on the Wirral and we gradually recognize you know obviously lots of people staying in the hotel the, that dozen or so people that were being treated that week gradually began to recognize each other and say good luck with today's mm. appointment how are you feeling how's it going a real sense of and very different people was a builder from Cumbria an accountant from Glasgow a retired lady from Cheltenham um, and the unit itself I can't stress enough what a wonderful place it is, how compassionate the people are, um, and what a great job they do. Mm. Clearly, uh, very hopeful for you in six weeks' time that you'll go and, and, and get a good result. For people watching at home who have a form of cancer and who think, oh, is this something that could help me? What, what is the sense of, of what, what cancers this might have an application for and, and the sort of time scale and when it might be available to other people? Well, it is, a, it is available for, I mean, obviously it's different for different cancers. Mm. I, I know particularly about this rare form of cancer. Mm. Um, and I think the message I'd like to get across is it's very frightening when you're diagnosed with this the first time but the the level of expertise that's available in this country uh, is extraordinary and the treatment itself uh, which you might think would be frightening mm. isn't I said to somebody the other day actually I thought I found it a bit easier than going to the dental hygienist <laughs> okay even despite the weird yeah, yeah, you, you, mask. I went up for a day a uh, <laughs> couple of weeks ago to have this mask personal mask fitted each one each person gets a very precise personal mask so they're head is completely yeah. still during the treatment. Wow. Well, good luck uh, in six weeks' time when you go back to Thank Moorfields you. and they have a good look. It's really good of you to come in and talk about it, Rory. Thanks very Thanks. much indeed.